What's up guys and welcome back to Mongoose Monday and today we got a bunch of news and Maybe you heard of this little game. It's called Pokemon Go <laughs> Where a 32 year old man me has to admit they're catching Pokemon now here's the thing a lot of people go What's the point of this stupid game and all this other stuff now? It is nostalgic I did watch the show when I was younger, okay? I did play the Game Boy game when it came out, the very first one, okay? So it is kind of fun. Now what surprised me the most is when I talked to my older friends and they were like, so how many Pokemon do you have? <laughs> it just cracked me up. But there are a lot of benefits to using this. And uh, the reason I'm talking about Pokemon Go in the beginning is there is a couple news stories and let's get right into it. Pokemon Go leads teen to dead body. Now you probably have heard this already. So in Wyoming, Pokemon Go led to a teenager to discover a dead man's body in the river. Uh, it was discovered by a girl named Shayla Wiggins and she was 19 years old. So on Friday morning, she grabbed her iPhone 6 and slipped on a pair of sandals. She took a short walk to explore the Big Wind River, which winds behind her home in the town of Riverton. She said, I was trying to get the water Pokemon, she explained, which is actually true. This is a cool feature of the game. If you're by water, you have a way higher chance of catching water Pokemon. But anyway, let's go back into it. The game cautions users to keep aware of their surroundings. But like most players, Wiggins was staring intently in her phone as she made her way beneath the Wyoming Highway 789 bridge. She spotted two deer near the water, but still no Pokemon. So she started to walk down the riverbank. Then she immediately noticed a man, man's body lying face down in the water, six feet to her left. I guess I was only paying attention to my phone and where I was walking, she said. When she finally realized that she was standing near a corpse, Wiggins called the police and led them to the scene. A lot of people may see this as a bad thing. I actually see this as a good thing because it, regardless of Pokemon Go, right? So let's take Pokemon Go out of the equation. It's actually, a, it's, it's a good thing that she found the body because, the, you know, the family of this person could have been looking for him. There could have been already a missing persons report. So it is good that they found the body. While they think they, uh, investigators are saying that he probably drowned in that spot and the water's only three feet deep. Uh, the, sheriff, the, the sheriff is saying that the death appears to be accidental in nature. Sha Shauna Wiggins said she's pretty scared and shaken, but she's doing much better. I probably would have never went down there, she said, if there weren't for this game, uh, Shayla Wiggins admitted. But in a way, I'm thankful. I feel like I helped find his body. And Wiggins says she still plans to keep playing Pokemon Go to explore her central Wyoming town. Which is good, you know. Finding a dead body shouldn't deter you that bad. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, so next in Pokemon Go news, and this is this is becoming more and more popular. As I walk down the street, I it, if someone has their phone out and I go, hey, you play Pokemon Go? Uh, I'm not surprised if they say yes. I was actually walking in the park the other day. And I will include two photos. I went I went to this Pokestop. It's called the Dinosaur Crane. I went all the way to this freaking spot. And uh, the game servers were messing up. And I couldn't get it. Every time I'd try to get the Pokestop and flick the damn thing, it would say try again. Or try again later. So I got eaten by freaking mosquitoes. And, you know, risk of hepatitis. Because <laughs> look at that spot. It don't look, doesn't look very... Uh, uh, doesn't look very inviting and yeah it didn't work so at least I got a cool I got a cool picture to show but yeah so next in Pokemon Go news armed robbers targeted Pokemon Go players police say so the suspects allegedly sought out victims in areas with a lot of Pokemon police in Missouri arrested four suspects who they believe used the new Pokemon Go game to find targets in a recent string of armed robbery Specifically, police say that the suspects allegedly sought out areas in which Pokemon Go players used a beacon to lure Pokemon, which in turn draws more players. The four suspects between the ages of 16 and 18 stole their victims' phones and personal belongings and drove off. The four teens were busted prowling around a BMW with a handgun, the cops say. The robbers were looking for Pokemon Go players trying to rob them. So basically they would sit out in a popular spot, either throwing down an incense or maybe a gym or a Pokestop, Wait for people to stop, and then actually pull a gun on them and steal their steal their stuff. The teens admitted to using the app as a part of a nasty plot. The cops the cops say, Brett Miller, 17, Jamie Warner, 18, Shane Backer, 18, and a juvenile suspect, 16, are charged with the first degree robbery and armed 
criminal action. But anyway, that is going to do it for this edition of Mongoose Monday. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.